with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The Magi went to Bethlehem to worship Jesus and offer their gifts to him. We too come to this place to worship the triune God and to offer our gifts, our money, our talents, and our time. Let us pray. God, you have blessed us with such love and goodness. We offer these gifts to you with thankful hearts and joyous praise. May this offering extend the work of your kingdom. We lift up the following to you. Bill S., Dorothy S., Sheila and Christopher, Grace and Bob, the family of Martha Company, Joey B, John B, Joe K, Bill E, Chris, Jeff, Sue, Danielle C, Deb D, Chris and Kelly, Jim, Justin B, and in their bereavement we lift up Warren Kresge and family, and family of Susan Schock. We also lift up the concerns not mentioned, but are in our hearts. Thanks for always listening and always loving us. And now, using whichever version you know, may we join in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory.
There's a gas station. I said no. We have to stick to the plan. Come on, Dad. I'm dying back here. We stopped for a bathroom break 30 minutes ago. He didn't have to go then. It's only one more hour until we reach Grandpa's house. You can go then. I'll never make it. Dear, he looks like he's about to burst. We really need to stop. This is not part of the plan. The plan was to stop at 12.15 for lunch. We did that. Then to hit the road again at 12.55. We did that, which we did that. Then a restroom break sometime between 2 and 2.03. Which, which we did. <sighs> okay, okay. But hurry. I hate when things don't go to plan. When do they ever? Most of the time. Yeah, right. I don't think so, dear. What about your plan to lose 10 pounds this year, Dad? I'm almost there. Just 15 pounds to go. Or when do you plan to build that bookcase for Benton's room and the whole thing fell apart? Benton doesn't read very much anyway. Remember when we planned to buy that house on Sycamore, but someone else got it? The house we have is much better than, the, than that one anyway. I agree, but that wasn't the plan. Much better. Thanks, Dad. So, you're saying that things just never happen the way they're planned? Sure they do. Benton, we were just telling your dad that his plans don't usually work out the way he intended. No. But God's plans never fail. You're right about that, son. It was God's plan to show us his love and make a way to save us from our sins. So he gave us his son, Jesus. And even when King Herod had planned to stop him, it failed. No one can stop God's plan. That's right. And God has a plan for each one of us, and nothing can stop his plan. I think God has a different plan than us getting to Grandpa's in the next hour. Why do you say that? We just got a flat tire. <laughs> Our Christmas road trip has been a happy one. We have met the Savior of the world, Jesus, God's own Son. But tragedy is just around the corner. We must hit the road again, this time to save a child's life. Others won't be so fortunate. This reading is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 12 through 23. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you for Herod, Herod is going, going to search for, for a child to kill him. him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt, where he, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophets, out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinities who were two years older and under, two years old and under. In accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi, then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah weeping and, and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her child and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. For those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reign, reigning in Judea, he, in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. 
Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets that he would be called a Nazarene. Jesus, he made the ultimate road trip, leaving his place in heaven to come to earth. He left this place as God the Son to become a baby, the son of Mary and Joseph. His trip would continue as he grew into a man, as he preached about God's kingdom, as he healed and performed miracles, as he went to a cross for us. As he died for our sins, and he was placed in a tomb. And as he rose again from that tomb to life again, what a journey. How will you be hitting the road this summer? Wherever you travel, whether it's across the country to see family, across the ocean to visit with our sister church in Germany, or across our town for a staycation. We invite you to take that trip with Jesus. He wants to hit the road with you. He wants to be your savior, to shine his light brightly in your heart, not just at Christmas, but every day. That brings our play to an end. And I would now invite all those who are traveling to Germany for our partnership trip to come forward. Hear these words from the Apostle Paul. At all times, make it your aim to do good to one another and to all people. Be joyful always, pray at all times. Be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants of you in your life in Christ Jesus. 
Please join me in the prayer of commissioning. Almighty God, who out of your great love gathered one church by the power of the Holy Spirit to be the light of the world, we thank you for those in all ages who have given their lives to tend it, to care for it, to lead it, and to serve in every way to forward its ministry. Now we thank you especially for these brothers and sisters in Christ traveling to our partnership church in Nilsen, Germany, who we commission in your name for the ministry of friendship and the reward of our partnership. Guide, inspire, empower, and protect them so that the mission of your church is brought closer to the fulfillment you intend. Bless them with travel mercies as they hit the road. And when they return, amen. Our last reading this morning is from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. May God give you the peace, joy, and the love of Christmas as you continue your summer journey. Go now and share God's love with those you encounter along the way. Amen.